In this video, we'll be talking about JAK-STAT signaling pathway. This is a very important cell signaling pathway, which is important in context of development, physiology, and in terms of disease. So JAK-STAT signaling pathway begins with the cell surface receptor, which are most commonly the cytokine receptors. So cytokine binds to these receptors, leading to its dimerization. So these are the membrane surface events. So these receptors bind to JAK or genus kinase. So these are kinase enzymes which obviously phosphorylate downstream targets. The first thing the JAK phosphorylate is the receptor itself. So the receptor phosphorylation is done by JAK. And this is kind of similar but also different from the receptor tyrosine kinase. In the receptor tyrosine kinase, the kinase activity was intrinsic. But in case of JAK-STAT signaling pathway, the kinase activity was not intrinsic to the receptor. The JAK are soluble proteins which associates with the activated receptor and phosphorylate the receptor. So this is the different part. Now, after phosphorylation of the receptor, specific signal transduction proteins known as STATs can bind to these phosphorylated receptors. Now, once STAT binds to these phosphorylated receptor, JAK can further phosphorylate these STAT molecules. STAT stands for signal transducer and activator of transcription. So more or less it's a transcription factor. So phosphorylated STAT can dimerize, either homodimerize or heterodimerize and eventually translocate into the nucleus. Thereby, it can bind to specific regions known as cytokine response elements. After binding to cytokine response elements, it would recruit RNA polymerase and eventually lead to activation of many genes. And these gene categories would be described in subsequent slides. So the question is the JAK-STAT sig signaling formula is same for all the cells. So where does heterogeneity occurs? So the heterogeneity occurs based on the type of JAK used or the type of STAT is involved in the signaling. There are different type of JAKs and STATs that are downstream to different signaling pathway. For example, if you look at this particular slide, you can see IL-4 receptor binds to JAK-1 and JAK-3. In contrast, interferon gamma receptor binds to JAK-1 and JAK-2. And they also activate different STAT, where, uh, whereas uh, where you can see IL-4 activates STAT-6, the interferon receptor gamma activates actually STAT-1 homodimers. So obviously, these heterogeneous outcomes lead to the differences in cellular responses. So now let's talk about the termination of JAK-STAT signaling pathway because initiation of any signaling pathway is important but the termination is more important to overcome the risk of um, uncontrolled signaling. So there are particular different strategies by which the JAK-STAT signaling pathway can be terminated. There are specific phosphatases known as protein tyrosine phosphatases that can chop off the phosphate group from the receptor and rendering this particular signaling pathway inactive. There are other strategies like receptor mediated endocytosis of the receptors. So that reduce the number of receptors available for binding to the signal. Also, there could be other proteins which can possibly degrade the JAK or STAT or even the receptor. So these are known as suppressor of cytokine signaling protein or SOCS proteins that can potentially degrade the receptor and degrade the JAK with combination of other molecules. Now let's talk about the JAK-STAT pathway in context of interferon signaling. So we have to, some understanding about the immunology as well. So interferons are alarming molecules that are secreted by a viral infected cells. So these interferon molecules are recepted by specific receptors on the neighboring cell and that act that gives the neighboring cell time and the Necess necessary um, proteins to counter a viral attack. So interferon signaling is mediated by JAK-STAT. So interferon receptor alpha and beta or, alpha or gamma receptors bind to specific interferons and they activate JAK-STAT signaling pathway. And note that here the sp there are specific JAKs which are downstream to each of these signaling receptors. 
ultimately they bind to cytokine receptor uh, cytokine response elements and give rise to genes but the question is which genes so let us break that down so first of all one of the gene that is getting activated is protein kinase r so ultimately protein kinase r enzyme is produced this particular enzyme actually interacts with the viral dna and eventually inhibits its uh, for the downstream processes also protein kinase r can phosphorylated elongation factor 2a which blocks the translation so if the viral genes cannot be transcribed cannot be translated virus would eventually die so these are some antiviral responses similarly there are other molecules such as oligo a synthetase this particular molecule process viral mrna in such a way that they are more prone to degradation another protein known as mx protein which oligomerize and inhibits the viral particle assembly so various aspects of viral life processes are hindered by this particular uh, gene products this is how jackstat signaling ensures interferon response is uh, augmented now let's talk about the jackstat signaling pathway as a therapeutic uh, target so there are specific inhibitors which target the jackstat signaling pathway which inhibits the cytokine production one such uh, inhibitor is known as tofacitinib this particular inhibitor is used for several autoimmune disorder treatment like rheumatoid arthritis this particular inhibitor is a competitive inhibitor for jack molecule so which renders the entire signaling arm in in uh, inactive and it prevents the production of the cytokine so how tofacitinib interacts with the particular jack so this is how the jack overall look like it has kinase domain pseudokinase domain sh2 domain and the firm domain so atp has to bind to the kinase domain in order for the jack to phosphorylate but in this case tofacitinib actually competitively inhibit atp and binds instead and thereby inactivating the jack activity and this is how it is really important therapeutic target so i hope this video was useful informative enough so if you like this video please share it with your friends don't forget to put your suggestions in the comment and all my social media links are provided in the description see you in the next video but before that you can also support our channel using super thanks please help us your one or two dollar motivation uh, contribution would be our motivation to do such videos thank you and see you in the next video